Robots have been used in manufacturing for decades. Now, a drone construction crew could be just around the corner. So we built a six meter tall structure made out of 1500 foam modules, yeah. autonomous. And four of them took turns simultaneously to pick up the bricks and, and uh, lay them on the structure. Yeah, it was really a demonstration of how flying machines could revolutionize how we build structures. Today, they're just foam bricks, but it does show what could be possible. At the ETH lab, they try to find things drones can do that no one has thought about before, like this weaver drone that could build a rope bridge in an emergency. Using math and complex algorithms, they try things most of us wouldn't even consider. Sometimes even they are surprised by what drones can do. You know, the three vehicles working together to, to throw the ball up in the air, that's a, that's a great demonstration of what vehicles can do collectively. Um, you know, it's clear that one vehicle alone wouldn't be able to do this. They need to really coordinate their actions in order to propel a ball up in the air. What's amazing is, you know, this propelling up motion. That looks very violent, but it, that never fails. So we dream these things up, and then we try to do them. Ten years from now? I don't know. <laughs> we adapt to technology. A technology comes along, we apply our values and our morals and our ethics to them. We incorporate them into our society and we move along. And this is no different. This is going to happen someday. But it's going to be interesting while it happens.